What's up everyone, Dr. Smith, physical therapist here, owner and founder of the Only 10 CEU Home Health Mentorship course. And I wanted to make this video today because I am seeing a consistent problem with seasoned clinicians, with new grad clinicians, and with any clinician that works in home health. That problem is that you are letting patients dictate your schedule. The golden rule in home health is that you never let a patient dictate your schedule. Before I get into this, please like this video, please subscribe, please comment below if you feel like it. But let's get right into the topic. Now, why is the golden rule that you never let patients dictate your schedule? The number one reason is if you give it to one patient, they will continue to expect it. But giving it to multiple patients is going to make your life extremely difficult, especially when you try to schedule your day around their schedules. It's going to mess with your productivity, your goals. So what do I recommend? I worked in home health the past three years and I made a lot of money, mainly working 10 to two. And what I did and what I recommend you do is you map out your patients the night before by geographical area, map your route, say, hey, I'm gonna be there between 10 and 12, especially if two patients live together, just say, hey, I'm gonna be there between 10 and 12 to both of them. You have two hours to see both of them and they are close together. If they are further away, then you can say, I'll see you between 10 and 12 to the first patient, to the second patient, you can say between 11 and one and just use that system. Now, a patient may refuse or be non-compliant. What you do in that instance is you say, hey, your primary care provider wanted us to have services. If you don't want these services, then we're gonna let them know you can take it or leave it. That usually will do the trick to get them to cooperate with your schedule. Now, there are some exceptions you have to make for dialysis patients, patients that can only be seen in the morning, etc. But the majority of the time, you want to be in control of your schedule and your productivity. Furthermore, if a scheduler or employer is pushing you over productivity, make sure you push back, especially in the beginning. Not only do you need to push back against patients, but also your employers, especially if you're already at productivity for that day. There is no reason to go over when they can just move the patient to the next day. Now, if you're having a patient who is just saying, hey, I can only see you this time, or just refuses to see you or is being non-compliant, that patient probably should have not been admitted anyway. And it is without a doubt that the admitting clinician fucked up and cost the agency money. To summarize and conclude this video, the main point and the main takeaway is that you never let a patient dictate your schedule outside of extenuating circumstances, but you need to stand up and take control and not be a bitch when it comes to patients or agencies. Again, I'm the founder of the Only 10 CEU Home Health Mentorship course, which is now trademarked. So if you're making a home health course similar to my content on how to get paid well or similar to these videos, you probably will receive a cease and desist letter from me. Thank you, have a good day. Thank you.